Welcome back. It is 623 on daybreak and 59 degrees out there. And with today being election day this morning, we're taking a look back into some of our unknown political history. That's right. It's a look at political firsts in today's edition of the unknown stories of Western New York. In 1964, the Republican candidate for vice president was from Lockport. And that candidate was William Miller, a former chair of the GOP National Committee, longtime congressman, and a candidate who broke new ground. You know, he's Barry Goldwater's running mate, and Goldwater went down to one of the largest defeats in history. Um, but uh, he was also the first uh, uh, Catholic Republican nominee for vice president in history. And he is just one figure in a very proud line of political first with Western New York connections. There was the first female presidential candidate, also from Niagara County, Royalton's own Belva Lockwood. She ran on the Equal Rights Party line in 1884 and 1888, decades before women were even allowed to vote. Uh, she actually received votes in both elections, even though only men could vote at that time. And so roughly between three and 4,000 men actually voted for a woman for president in the 1880s. You can't make it because you're a woman. The well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here. And in 1969, Shirley Chisholm became the first black woman elected to the U.S. Congress. She was reelected six times. She ran for the Democratic nomination for president in 1972. Her connection to Buffalo would come years later when she married Assemblyman Arthur Hardwick Jr. of Williamsville. Eventually moving here and sharing more than just a dream with Lockwood. I think that it all started with their ability to think and say, hey, you know, I can do this just as well as that person can do it. And then there's this political first, the very first automatic lever voting machine, a true example of Western New York teamwork. These machines were invented by James Myers of Rochester, manufactured in Jamestown, and debuted in 1892 in a building that stood around this spot at 7 West Main Street in the city of Lockport. They said it attracted more people than actually could vote at that time because people wanted to see how it was going to work. Western New York innovation is still in action today. Yeah, a right. really interesting political history here on this election day. Yeah, and we'll, we're not even going to go into the presidents that came from here. All right, coming up next on Daybreak, our coverage of election day.